southern ranges near Tasmania's most southern point the mountains overlooking the ocean heading off up into the track We've got Walzer and Bowie have headed off up the stairs here Croft's gone up far away he's gonna start about an hour behind us and we're gonna head into the southern ranges for the next five days and have a bit of an adventure so uh, it's gonna be a big day today trying to get to Ooze Lake we'll see how we go and um, yeah it's gonna be a big climb we've got about over a thousand meters to 1500 meters climbing today. First section is going to be a tester. We'll see how the boys go. I'm feeling pretty pumped, feeling pretty good. Let's head on up and uh, let's get into the southern ranges here in uh, 2020. The start to our annual adventure week. Let's get involved. Let's go.
Southern Ranges. About to head off from Who's Lake. Beautiful spot. Nice day. It's going to be a hot one. Make the most of this weather because it could change at any time. Feeling good. And uh, yeah, Pindar's Peaks, the next stop. We'll see you there. <laughs> in the other videos awesome peak and we've been very lucky the weather check it out we can see the east coast we can see Freycinet Mariah Island um, it's just awesome it's out there you've got Mariah Island you've got Freycinet you've got La Perouse which we climbed yesterday and you come around you can see the whole south coast right around the southwest cape which doesn't look far away Southwest Cape out there. Um, magnificent, we've been very lucky. It's incredible.
sorry to interrupt this transmission. Uh, it is the morning of day three. We uh, have had a fair bit of rain overnight. After we got up Victoria Cross, which you may have just seen, we um, came back and it just rained all night. It's been pretty cold, misty. After a spectacular day yesterday, which you saw, it has been pretty crazy. And the boys here are about to head out to do PB, Precipitous Bluff. Um, Tom and I have done it previously from New River Lagoon, so the weather's turned us right off. We have no desire to go up there again today. But uh, Crawford and Bowie, they're heading up. We're going to farewell them in a sec. Um, weather keeps coming and going now. But, um, look, I'm close to heading up. I just can't bring myself to, to do it today. I've done my fair share of uh, wet weather scrub walking and it's just no need for me. Rolf, how do you feel? Uh, cold. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yep. Looking forward to some wet scrub bashing. Um, I love that stuff. Yep. It's sort of, you know, it's what it's all about. Well, that's it from us for now. We'll uh, give you an update when the guys return, but here they're heading up PB, and it looks like I'm uh, doing a bit of reading today and, and just chilling out. Uh, as you can see, I've got all the gear on. I've got three or four layers, and um, yeah, let's, um, let's see how the go. Let's go. and it's pretty wet as you can see, pretty rainy, pretty cold. On our way back out the same route we came in. It's going to be a long day, I think. Um, yeah, you probably won't see much video today. This might be about it, but uh, check it out. Woo! Right. How are you feeling, Mouse? Yeah, good. Loving it? I got taken for a flight up there by the wind. It was insane. Tell us more. I was walking along and the track dipped down like that and this huge gust current just picked me up and I flew across this section of the field in the air. <laughs> and then it started running as I landed and I just got taken. Is that true Crawford? Yeah, I was right behind him. <laughs> About three metres. <laughs> I flew across. 